Hello. Uh, Santa Muerte Online. Let me get closer here. Let me get this more closer. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> um, so today's video is a little bit of Q&A questions that I've been, been asked. You guys, um, my link to my uh, Facebook is up on the videos, other videos that I have that you can guys message me through Messenger. Uh, but I wanted to answer some questions that is a big concern um, to a lot of people. Um, the first question is, can you be a Santero? Can you practice Ifa? Can you practice Palo? And at the same time practice with a Santa Muerte, okay? My question to that is, my, my answer to that is, yes, you can. Not only do I do it, there is a lot of more tatas and well-known tatas uh, that do it. There's a lot of santeros that do it, uh, well-known santeros. Um, and also, if this is part of your heritage, for example, I'm Central American, right? This is in my heritage. This is what my family practice, even though I practice Palo, even though I practice a lot of different ATRs, different traditional African uh, religions. But this is part of my heritage. This is part of my ancestry, okay? So I have every right to practice this if I want to. Just like if you are Cuban, you practice Espiritismo, you practice Ifa, you practice uh, Santeria, Ocha, and you practice Palo, okay? Yet, that's my personal opinion, okay? I respect everybody's opinion. Um, but, there are always going to be those who will always make negative comments. I get attacked every day. I get, I get, attacked every day i get threatened every day you know there's people that make stupid comments all the time for example i had this guy literally attacking me um his comment was you know you shouldn't practice palo uh i'm sorry you shouldn't practice with a santa muerte if you're a tata if you practice palo um i don't know anything about a santa muerte but i know that you shouldn't practice San, you know, with a Santissima Muerte, if you call yourself a Tata. First of all, the word that he said, I don't know anything about Santa Muerte, but you shouldn't practice Santa Muerte if you practice in Palo or vice versa. Was a very stupid comment. And it's funny because I, I know that person's godfather, okay? That person's godfather is also does videos on YouTube, you know, and I know that Tata, and that Tata himself practices with a Santa Muerte or has given and has given other people recommendation to practice with a Santa Muerte you know um, so it, it, you know it, it turned into a comment and then we like like started talking back each other you know and I don't know if it became a spiritual war but ever since then he has been very quiet um, you know, I respect everybody's opinion, okay? Now, listen to the videos. A lot, of, a lot of people make a lot of comments on my videos, and they don't even listen to it. They automatically hear something, and they start going to negative comments when the explanation is on the video. For example, I get, video, I get people all the time from, let's say, especially the ATRs, Palos, Santeros, and stuff like that, right? Ifa. Oh, their Santa Muerte has nothing to do with this. And I'm like, you motherfuckers, you idiots, excuse my language, you idiots. I said that in the video. Why are you commenting like that or on that? If I say in the video, I say in the videos, Santa Muerte has nothing to do with Palo. Santa Muerte has nothing to do with Santeria. Santa Muerte has nothing to do with Ifa. You know? Although the ancestry the belief system actually did come from the Congos, okay? 
or the o -O 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 -Max, Omecas. Yet, I say it, he has nothing to do in the practice or the religion of Palo. But then I have them, those idiots that say, oh no, Santa Morte has nothing to do with Palo. And I'm like, didn't I just say that? So you're gonna go through all that, okay? Especially people that make videos, you're gonna have a lot of haters out there, okay? Um, now, the other questions, why, what are the, the, the styles of reading with Santa Muerte, okay? Well, traditional, the style of reading with Santa Muerte was with coffee or corn or shells, okay? That was the traditional reading. Now, I personally didn't learn those, those um, traditional reading. I know that the corn one, but the rest I didn't. I might, I personally uh, don't do tarot cards with her. I personally, and this has nothing to do with her practice. Again, please listen to what I'm saying. This has nothing to do with her practice. This is a personal practice, a personal choice. I'm not saying in this video, this is the, how you read with her. I'm giving you guys an explanation on how I do it. So I'm not doing saying this is with her or she is part of this. <clears throat> I myself read with the uh, traditional Palawe, which is Chamalongos or Encobos. Uh, Chamalongos is, could be pieces of seashells, okay? Or it could be pieces of, you know, four pieces of coconut, okay? Traditional Palo is seashells, okay? The other thing that I read with her is through um, seashells, okay? Curry shells. I read with her with that, and I read with her with maize, uh, corn. Um, I try coffee, I just don't like the coffee style. <clears throat> okay, now am I saying that the curry shells, and am I saying that chamalongos is the right way? No, that has nothing to do with that. That is my personal choice, that I how I read with her, because that's what I learned, even though I have 25 years Working with a Santa Muerte, I have, you know, 30 plus years in Palo. So I started learning how to read in Palo. And sometimes I'll get the Dilango and I'll read it with the Dilango, but that's my personal choice. I do not say, hey, this is the way it is. Um, now, can you, as, as a practitioner, and if you are a Santero or you're a Palero, Break out your chamalongos and read with chamalongos. If that's your personal choice, it is. What is wrong is if you come out and you start saying, this is the way you read with her. You have to give an explanation that that's not a way to read with her, that that is a way we read in a different tradition. But if that's the way that you read and that's how you feel comfortable, why not? I don't see anything wrong with that. So to answer the question, can you read with chamalongos? Can you read with... Um, in Cobos, uh, with a Santissima Muerte, and I'm answering a question that I was asked. If it's on a personal practice, yes. There's nothing wrong with that as a personal practice. But this is not something that is traditional of hers, okay? Um, you can even get four quarters and read with her. It's whatever you feel comfortable with, but again, it's something that is not traditional of her, okay? Please listen to the words that I'm saying before you guys start attacking and making stupid comments, okay? Because you will get hurt <clears throat> um, if you go on a debate, okay? Please, also before you make any stupid comments, make sure that you know what the hell you're talking about, you know? Because to go on a debate with me, debate with me and an argument with me, you really need to know what the hell you're talking about. Don't comment, I don't know anything about the Santa Muerte, and then you still wanna argue with me, okay? Especially when your godfather also practices with a freaking Santa Muerte. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I really took that a comment, you know, we in a, a so-called uh, palero, um, we had a big little, little argument, okay? And it's funny, because in his videos that he posted, you know, his video that he posted two weeks ago, he's over there saying, oh, you know, I don't um, tell anybody what to do. I don't hate anybody. I don't comment negative things on anybody. I let them do what they do. And yet, 
it was so negative towards my videos, you know, which is very disrespectful, especially when it comes from a brother of a tradition. Um, you know, once again, so does Santa Muerte have anything to do with Palo? No, she doesn't. Does Santa Muerte have anything to do with Santeria? No, she doesn't. Does Santísima Muerte have anything to do with Ifa? No, she doesn't. Does Santa Muerte have anything to do with Espiritismo? Hmm, yes, she does. Because if you're an Espiritista, you are working with your ancestors. Now, if your heritage happens to be Mexican or Central American, can you bring that energy into Espiritismo? Yes. Not into the Espiritismo Croyo, which is the Cuban Espiritismo. You know, if you believe in the Cuban Espiritismo, practice it the way it is. Because Cuban Espiritismo has different things, okay? But as a part of your Espiritismo ancestry, yes, you can. You can bring it there if you call yourself a Espiritista, okay? Because uh, that's part of your ancestor. That's part of your heritage. Um, and again, it's a personal choice. It's a personal practice. Okay. Now, am I saying that a Santa Muerte has anything to do with a Croyo, Espiritismo, Cuban, or Puerto Rican? No. I'm not saying that. Okay? So don't twist the words. Um, now, can you read with shells? Can you read with chamalongos with her? If that's your personal choice, if that's how you learn, yes, because you are communicating with a deity. If that's the way you communicate with the deity that you practice, for example, the Mpungo, Mapungos, the Mfuiris, the Mfumbes, the Orishas, you know, Orula, Orun, whatever you want to call it, if that's the way it is. Is it the traditional Santissima Muerte style? No, it's not. But as a personal practice, I don't see anything wrong with it, okay? Um, you know what? No matter what you guys do, and if you're going to make YouTube videos out there, you're always going to have negative people um, commenting. And uh, you're going to find out that 99.9 .9 of those people don't have any freaking clue of what they're talking about because they never practice, okay? You're gonna have a lot of haters out there that, are, that practice the ATRs, um, hating on you, because they don't have any clue of what this tradition is. There are those that do practice ATRs and they have a lot of respect for this. There are those who choose not to have anything to do with that, but do not disrespect the tradition, do not disrespect that belief system. They just choose not to, to have anything to do with this. And then those, there are those godfathers that since they have no knowledge of this, put her down. And it happens in the ATRs too. For example, you have Santeros that cannot be in Palo and since they cannot be in Palo, they talk bad about Palo. They make Palo look like it's something that comes with the devil, that is something evil, okay? You have Baba Laos too, Baba Laos that, um, that don't have any knowledge about different religions, you know, and they make it look evil. It happens everywhere, just like Christianity, you know, demonized a lot of religions, demonized a lot of uh, gods and goddesses. It happens everywhere, okay? One of the things is because they don't have knowledge. The other thing is because since they don't know anything about it, they don't want their, their godchildren or the students to say, let me go over there and learn. And then they have, you know, they lose money. This is all about money. A lot of things, a lot of this is about money. Why? Because in the tradition and the practice of Santissima Muerte, especially if you practice the Catholic way, you just go up to the Juju Shop Botanica, you buy your Santa Muerte, you pay your 30 40 dollars five bucks if you buy it in mexico you take it home you do a personal practice okay and the traditional method of the santa muerte that means the aztec over the central american the old style there is initiation because you have to belong into what we call an inner circle okay but that's a one-time feed initiation and then you you initiate it into an, a, a cult you initiate it into a fraternity you initiate it into a circle or into a house that practices with her okay 
and the initiation is not that that expensive not compared to you know twenty thousand dollars to get a risha nothing not even close to that okay or three thousand dollars you know plus for initiation it's nothing close to that either okay um and palo uh i'm talking about three thousand plus dollars you know two thousand plus dollars in initiation in my own impala um it's still not even close to that uh so in reality you you don't make money out of this so if you don't make money a lot of a lot of you know people that practice atr they don't they don't want to bother with it because a lot of these people are in these traditions because of money they want to make money okay um a lot of people live out of this tradition you know what i'm not gonna hate on them because um, for example, when I was uh, practicing to be Ifa, right, to become a Babala, which I didn't, I, I, I just didn't want to go through that path. I, I love my own bit too much. I love Palo too much. Um, even in Palo, you know, the Mpumbe or the Mpungos, Mpungos uh, said, you know, you're not to work. You are to live out of the religion. We will send you sent to people and stuff like that although i choose to work and not live under the religion you know when i was going through ifa ifa said himself we don't want you to work we were gonna we are gonna provide for you we're gonna bring a lot of people for you to work though you know to do this so there is a lot of old dooms there's a lot of signs out there that you know a lot of people live out of the religion um that there is nothing wrong what is wrong is when you start taking advantage with high prices, you know, taking a, start taking advantage of people um, and charge them for every little thing. Um, that, that is what is wrong. Um, yes, uh, there are a lot of fakes out there. I'm not going to go ahead and argue with you. There's a lot of fakes. There's a lot of car artists and everything, you know. Um, but don't let this... Keep you guys down from making videos, from putting information out there. Remember, there's two two styles of working with her. One is the new age, or what I like to call the Christ, Christian way, you know, the the Catholic way. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's the traditional way. You know, there's none of those are wrong. Okay, none of those traditions are wrong. The thing is, in both traditions, what you need is faith and to believe. Okay. Um, guys, if you have any more questions, please, you know, ask, you know, make comments on, on the, on the video, whatever questions you have, you know, um, but like I said, if you guys want to debate with me, I have no problem debating, but know what you're talking about. Please do not make yourself a fool because I will tear you up. I will embarrass you in front of everybody. And I will put you on Facebook and I'll put you on blast when you say something stupid. Okay? So, all you have, um, Losing Progreso. You have a wonderful night. You have a blessed night. Again, I said Losing Progreso because I do practice Espiritismo too. And in my Espiritismo, I include her because she is part of my ancestry. Okay? Once again, recap. She has nothing to do in Palo. Hear what I'm saying. So don't repeat in the comments, she has nothing to do with Paolo. <laughs> she has nothing to do with Ifa. She has nothing to do in Santeria. Nothing to do in Guru. Okay? Her practice is different. Okay? She comes from more of the Aztec, Mayan, Aztec tradition. Nothing to do with the ATRs. But if you choose to do the reading, that's your personal choice. All right? You have a blessed night.